every year more than 40,000 unaccompanied children cross into the United States and as they wait to be placed with family members, some of them pass through Bethany Christian Services transitional foster care program. And after the journey many of them have taken, this is an added relief. A seven year old girl plays with these toys. Now she has the time to scribble out drawings and be a kid. But weeks ago, in an attempt to escape persecution and violence, she made the long journey from Central America to the United States alone. People are always here and I think are always a little humbled when they meet that new little person and see how courageous and brave and scared they are. In March of this year, Bethany Christian Services Indianapolis branch started accepting children into its government funded transitional foster care program for unaccompanied children. Then only two children needed fostering. Since then, the number has gone up to 40. Usually the children we have in care would be what they call the tender age, so that would be anywhere from birth to 12 years of age. The children in the program mainly come from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. Those three places make up the Northern Triangle. The children are first detained by Border Patrol, then moved to temporary housing, or in this case, transitional foster care. Around 90% of the children who make the journey already have some family in the states. The transitional foster program helps the children until family can be tracked down. They may be with us as briefly as uh, 10 to 15 days and, and go on to their sponsor. Drew and Monica is one of the participating foster families. We just have a lot. <laughs> and so if we can leverage that to help bless other people, we want to. For safety and privacy reasons, we aren't allowed to show the child, the couple's faces, or use their last name. But we can share a little about the girl they are fostering and what helped get her to America alone. For the kid that we're watching, she was really close with her grandmother. And so it, just hearing uh, her, her share stories of her grandma told her she needed to have courage to do that. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things that she held on to while she made the journey. Yeah. Taking in an older child who only speaks Spanish, the non-bilingual couple says they took on the foster parent role not knowing what to expect and with a little fear. Like it's hard work, but it's really, really good, joyful work. While fostering is one part of the program, there's a constant need for volunteers and staff who are bilingual and have a social work degree. Fostering happens to be what works for this family. Ultimately, we feel a calling to, to take care of the kids while they're here. As the program gets more foster families, they'll be able to place more children. You can find more on the fostering qualifications at wishtv.com. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.